Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next, uh, to part 2 of my uh, birthday gifts uh, vlog. So after part 1, when I, my brother got me that amazing gift, you know, which I'm thankful for. So, so now we'll get right into part 2 with, um, with uh, the DVDs now. First, I'm going to start off with, um, well, start, well, um, Sorry. First, I'll start with mangas, and then the and then the movies, not animes, but movies. So, so that'll be a, that'll be another part one, another part after this. But to start to start up with the movies and then the manga. So, I'll start quickly with the mangas, really quickly, like a, like a four here. So, but um, as for for the first three, this is part of a uh, series. I have the first one. I have I have two volumes, two, three, and four. Of uh, Sakura Chen wants to, Sakura H, Sakura Sakura uh, son wants to be noticed. So this is volume uh, two, volume three, and then volume four. So uh, Sakura Sak uh, Sakura uh, son wants to be noticed. So the volumes two, three, and four. So we got these. Next is volume five of the series that I've enjoyed from 2021. So this, this is the new volume, which is pretty much catching up to pretty much what to uh to the to the to the anime series. So this is volume five of Great Jahi will not be defeated. Really love that. Really love this series. One of the best ones of 2021. So yeah, um, this is like the this this volume five plays up up to more closer to the in the in the, in the series. Um, every, um, this by the end of volume five, it ends on uh, when Jahi finally um, finally um, meets back with the the dark the dark lord, you know her master, right? When she was hiding in the magic girls. Um, uh, place. She see me. He see he. She sees her just uh, eating a bunch of ramen noodles. So yeah. But yeah, I I enjoyed uh I enjoyed Gr a great Jahi jo will not be defeated. So this is volume five. And that's pretty much it for the mangas right now. Now we're moving on to the movies now. Anyway, um. So now we have the mangas. Now we're on to the movies. The movies now. So now I have here this big uh, box set, uh, this uh, limited edition collector set, that is of Wanted. Stars James McAvoy, Angelina Jolie, and Morgan Freeman. And now, personally, personally, I'm not really. I wasn't really big on Wanted when I first saw it, though. So I haven't. And I, haven't I haven't watched it since then, though. I mean, James McAvoy, I'm not really big I mean, as Charles Xavier, you know what I mean? I did not like X-Men First Class, I did not like the Days of Future Past, or Apocalypse, let alone Dark Phoenix. Although I gotta say, I was more sympathetic with him in Dark Phoenix because of stuff they did with, you know, to, you know, to wipe Jean Grey's memory, just so she wouldn't know about the truth, you know? I kind of felt sorry for, that Charles, for him as Charles Xavier in, in Dark Phoenix. So I thought his performance was a bit better, but the rest of the movie I wasn't really big on his on his Charles Xavier though. So, <coughs> and unfortunately, I did not I do not like uh, I do not like M Night Split or him in Glass. So I'm not I'm not really the biggest James McAvoy fan though. But hey, I like Morgan Freeman. He was one of the highlights though because Morgan Freeman he doesn't give a bad he never gives a bad performance. And they have Angelina Jolie in this, and you also got um, <laughs> Terrence Stamp who played. Zod from Christopher Reeve's Superman, and Common, you know Common, he was in this as well. Music by Danny Elfman, and it's directed by uh, Tim Mar. I can't pronounce that guy's name. He would this guy would after this film he would later go on to direct Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. So, but the thing is, I, despite I wasn't really big on the fan of this stuff, but I like getting collector's editions of a lot of movies, you know. And this is a really nice. First of all, I like how. This big, this plastic set here it has it with a bullet in it, you know, for want, because you know it's what wanted is. And so I like how 
when you slide in, it feels like you know that the movie's being shot at. And it comes with you know with a lot of features. It comes with well, this here. a lot of features. You know, it, it has with uh, some uh, art uh, gallery cards, and then um, yeah, motion comics. Uh, Making of Wanted, the game. All the stuff like they shows the inside of the back here, so I have especially with a lot of features on here, so but yeah, despite I'm not really big on the film though, but I do like getting special editions on a lot of movies. You know, because I like to watch the special features, you know, behind just you know, behind the behind the movies, the making of, you know. Because special features can be sometimes can be good and it can be good in a lot of ways, so there we go. Yeah, but I like how like it just like psh, for wanted, psh, the bullet goes right there. Yeah. So they got that, and then I got here is um this uh um this uh, uh, I think it's another erotic thriller. Um, yeah, one of those type of movies though. But uh, it's called uh, Poison Ivy. But right there, that stars Drew Barrymore. And among and he also got Tom Scared as well, and you got uh, Sarah Gilbert from Roseanne. Yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, she from start started in Roseanne. She's in this as well. And uh, yeah, but yeah, Drew Barrymore. It's kind of like you know, um, it's kind of like that thing uh, like on kind of like the Hand that Rocks the Cradle or or um the Crush, you know. You know, like 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 Hannah Rocks the Cradle, like in Hannah Rocks the Cradle, the woman, you know, tries to be a better woman than the wife, trying to push her aside, and uh, like trying to push the wife aside, like I like this picture, and be part of this family here, you know. And that's what what Drew Barrymore is, and plus, you know, I um, at my store, of course, where it says here Rasputin, you know, collectibles, right? I like game films that like, has this sticker on here that says, um, you know, out of print, hard to find, right, rare. Whenever I see one has has a sticker like this, I had to get it because it's like, hey, if this is like hard to find, out of print type, I'll get it. But yeah, dumb. I haven't seen this film. This basically basically got two sequels as well. And plus, I like I like Drew I like Drew Barrymore, you know, and uh, see how it plays in this type bit and it play a, a a villainous role. Look for what it looks like. So yeah, Poison Ivy. And I like Tom Scary, you know, from Alien, and then among other movies. And then next is I got um, one called The Hot Spot. Let's see right there, The Hot Spot. And it, and it stars uh, Don Johnson, you know, from the TV show of Miami Vice. Um, Virginia Madsen starred from Candyman. Jennifer Colony, who just recently starred in last year in Top Gun Maverick. And then you got Charles Martin Smith from The Untouchables, and I also remember from Peter Benchley's The Beast, and uh, among other stuff as well. Charles Charles Martin Smith. And the one thing I um, caught my attention all with this movie though, because it's directed by Dennis Hopper, an actor that I have loved. May may he rest in peace. You know, known for playing the villainous Howard Payne from Speed. And of course, from when he started, of course, when he was on Apocalypse Now, from Easy Rider, and just among other lots of films, I I love Dennis Hopper. May he rest in peace. And just is and he did get and he which he did direct the movie Easy Rider as well. So, but he directed this film too. Hey, I guess I love Dennis Hopper. I like to see how he does with his movie, you know. So, and Don Johnson, I don't mind Don Johnson. Um, although I never watched the his show from my, the the original Miami Vice, I know that was the film with Colin Farrell and Jimmy Fox though. But and for Virginia Manson, who I liked in Candyman, and uh, Jennifer Colony, wasn't she? What was it when she when she was younger? She didn't she star in Labyrinth? That was the one with uh, David Bowie. Yeah, I think I think it was Labyrinth. Yeah. But yeah, but this is I, I caught my attention because this is directed by Dennis Hopper. But um, so I'll get this. I'll get, probably get this, get this watch. The Hot Spot. Um, next, um, speaking of once again with Morgan Freeman, I got the special edition here of another enjoy, enjoyable war film, Glory, 
stars Matthew Broderick, Morgan Freeman, and uh, Denzel Washington, and also Carrie Elwes as well. Well, this is a film where Denzel Washington won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. And I really enjoyed the scene where he was talking to, to Morgan Freeman, right? Why well, I don't want to say the scene, to say the scene though, but just when Morgan, you know, but Morgan Freeman, when he slaps Denzel Washington, it tells you, know, what are you? So full hey, they just can't, you, they just want to go out and fight everybody, because you've been whipped and chased by hounds. Well, that ain't living, but sure as hell ain't dying. And then what they do it, Morgan Freeman tell him also tell him does watch like you watch who you call the N word, you know. But yeah, more that was, but that, but that, beside that, that was a really great scene. You know? It was also good to see seeing Denzel Washington and Morgan Freeman uh, sharing a scene, sharing a scene like that together. You know, really enjoy that. Really enjoy. It. And Matthew Broderick, you know, being a more and a more his probably his most dramatic role. You know, besides out his outside his Ferris Bueller uh, comedic character. You know, although I, I did, although I'm one of the few guys that like Godzilla 1998. I'm one of the very few though. I still defend that film, and I like Matthew Broderick in that. And it's directed by Edward Zwink, who later directed um, The Last Samurai with Tom Cruise and among other films he's directed. The music by James Horner, may he rest in peace, you know. Of course, doing the, of course, work with James Cameron's films like Titanic and Aliens. The last one he did before he passed away was in help doing the score on the 2016 remake of The Magnificent Seven. But I, I really enjoy, I always enjoyed Glory. Great ensemble cast. So, next is the one, uh, the one for, um, well, one for nominated for five Oscar nominations, including Best Picture. Um, Zero Dark Thirty stars Jessica Chastain. You got, uh, Jason Clark, who from Star from White House Down, he played John Connor from Terminator Genesis, which I'm not a fan of. He was also starring in the second reboot of the Planet, Ace, Planet of the Ace films, um, War, the, what was it? No, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. You know, he's one in the trailer which like he goes, I need to speak to Caesar. Yeah, it's Jason Clark. Then you got Joel Egerton, you got Kyle Chandler, Ma Mark Strong, Frank Grillo, and Chris Pratt before he before he did just two years before he did Guardians of the Galaxy. And directed by Catherine Bigelow, who um who directed another war film that I enjoy, um, The Hurt Locker. I really enjoy The Hurt Locker with Jeremy Redner and Anthony Mackie. Um, and then he was directed before, before years before she directed Blue Steel with Jamie Lee Curtis, um, Near Dark with Bill Paxton and Lance Hendrickson. That was a vampire movie. Um, uh, Point Break, and then K-19, The Windowmaker with Harrison Ford and Liam Neeson. Um, Strange Days with uh, Ray Fiennes, but um, the one I really enjoyed the most I was The Hurt Locker. I think that's her. That's her easily her best film. And that one for Best Picture, and I enjoyed The Hurt Locker. So I have to. I I've heard a lot of good things about Zero Dark Thirty. So, but it's with a great cast. And hey, it's cool to see. Always cool to see Chris Pratt. You know, it's always fun to see him. Of course, if anyone about Zero Dark Thirty, it was about the it was about the the manhunt for Osama bin Laden. So, yeah, that's Zero Dark Thirty. And next, I got some. Now, I can move on to the to the family to the family movies, family kids movies. Um, first, like that, I got was um, Little Giants, starring Rick Moranis and uh, Ed O'Neill. Rick Moranis from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and um, Ed O'Neill from Married with Children. And you got John Madden, rest in peace, you know, John Madden, you know. We, of course, all the, those football games named after him, you know, the Madden series. Yeah. <laughs> and it's directed, by, it's directed by Dwayne Dunham, who directed Homer Bound, The Incredible Journey, which a childhood movie of mine. And for what I've ever looked at, this film, this film did not do that well, sadly though. But I like, but I like both actors. I like Rick Moranis. Always, in, always a, pl a pleasure to see him. Ed, Ed, Ed O'Neill outside his Al Bundy roles. So that's yeah, Little Giants. Next uh, from uh, two of the Disney movies. Um, back when Disney was good, though. <laughs> 
Um, of course, with star uh, Danny Glover and Christopher Lloyd, Angels in the Outfield, and also starring uh, Tony Danza from. Um, I, I just I, I just I just recently watched some of the shows with my mom because my mom loved the show. Oh God, what was I, I'm just I just drew a I'm, I'm no good kid. I just drew a complete blank on on the show that he just uh, the show that he was no, popularly known for. Not Taxi. That was before he did the show. I know he did Taxi. Oh. Sorry, I cut that there. Yeah, who's the boss? I can't believe I drew a freaking blank on that. I knew the show. My I just my mom has been really for the past for past for, for past weeks. You know she's been watching the show. I don't know. So I don't know why I just drew a freaking blank on it. Who's the boss? I had to slap myself for that because I know the show. <laughs> yeah, who's the boss? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. So yeah, so yeah. Danny Glover, Christopher Lloyd, Tony Danza, young a jo young Joseph Gordon Levitt right there. And all the most supporting cast, you got uh, Matthew McConaughey, you got um, <clears throat> Neil McDonough, um, uh, Brenda Fricker, no, no, best known for playing the Pigeon Lady from Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, she was the Pigeon Lady, um, Ben Johnson, among many movies from back then, Ben Johnson, and, um, uh, oh, wait, I forgot the, uh, the guy, um, I forgot the guy's name, though, but... The guy who played Milo, the bad guy from The Last Boy Scout. Taylor something. Taylor Taylor something. I forget his last name, though. But, yeah, he played Mi the, the bad guy Milo from The Last Boy Scout. <laughs> yeah, which he, he was... Which, sadly, he's now passed away, sadly, though. But uh, he was a, he was a fun bad guy in The Last Boy Scout. <laughs> and when he, when he, when he calls uh, Bruce Willis, he's like, Hey, motherfucker. And <laughs> Bruce Willis said, "Hey Milo, what are you calling from the bottom of the pool?" <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I was uh, I just remember watching Angel Angels in the Outfield because you know the uh, the Angels are they were a failing team baseball team they were basically at the bottom of the barrel until Joseph Gordon Levitt you know wish you know that for the the team to do better and Christopher Lloyd being the Angel him and his team of other angels helping the players out and they've just been move on to be the best team in the league. So, yeah, but uh yeah, Angels in the Outfield. I remember not minding the movie. You know, like a uh, harmless, you know, type movie, big Disney movie because you know, hey, family friendly, you know, I mean, Danny Glover, I enjoy Dan I always loved Danny Glover, Christopher Lloyd, which you know, I met Christopher Lloyd last year. Great guy, to, nice guy to meet, you know. And it was nice to see Tony Danza. I like, uh, I like Who's the Boss. My mom loved the show back then. She still watches it. I can't believe I forgot the freaking name. I forgot the name. Who's the Boss. It was a memorable theme song, too, for Who's the Boss, you know. Family life. Family life. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. And then the last one here. Which, I have not watched this film in freaking forever. I remember just watching it on, on my old VHS tape, which I don't think I no longer have no more. And I have not watched that since then. It's been like decades. <laughs> well, I'm 32 now. 32 now, so 20 or tw over 20 some years. So yeah, it's another Disney film that I've just just haven't watched since then. And it stars Steve Gutenberg, and that is of the Big Green. Yeah, the soccer, the soccer. Uh, yeah, which is also from the creators of Angels. Speaking of speaking, of, speaking of from the creators of Angels in the Outfield. Really enough, yeah. Yes, uh, the bit the big green. Yeah, which I have not watched this in 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 forever. A bunch of you know misfit kids. You know it's like the Mighty Ducks. You know misfit kids forming a team, right? And you got Steve Gutenberg in it uh, from where well, most from <clears throat> from Short Circuit, and of course from Three Three Men and a Baby. And they also we have J O J O Sanders in this, which also. Among the cast members I didn't mention this though, he was also in the Angels of the Outfield as well, J.O. Sanders. And music by Randy Elman, which also did the score for this movie as well. <laughs> and uh, and also um the kid here who's on the front cover, mostly you know you most remember him from the Sandlot as well. 
forget, I forget what his name is though. But uh, you mostly remember him from the from the sand the sand lot. I think yeah, he he was the um, the bully. But yeah, the big green. Yeah, I just have, I haven't watched this in in ages. For uh, over twenty years, I haven't watched. I haven't seen this film since then. But yeah, but that's all. That's the movies. So nice, a nice, decent stack here. And of course with the mon of course with the the mangas as well, the four volume mangas. So, but yeah, but that's uh, part two. Now moving on to, uh, to the next one, part three, and that's that. All right. <laughs> but yeah, but still, but nice uh, manga and DVD uh, set. So thanks for watching for this part. And stay tuned for the, for the last one, part three, and that's getting to the anime series. So, see you on the, on that next video.